Yo, what's good beautiful people welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is malik stel and if you are new on this channel kindly make sure to subscribe press on that red notification button i'm not going to get tired of saying that i will always say that and please share to your friends let's get conversative if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section so real quick now i have good news and a bad news so let's talk about the bad news first now it's going to be bad for some other people and good for some people as well so for people who were not of let's say yeah for people who are not able to come to qatar during the world cup it's a bad news for you because now for people who came to qatar during the world cup it's a good news for you why because you came with your higher card now we all know that during the world cup the only um way one could um, access qatar or one could come to qatar was through this higher card visas were not working i mean visas were on hold i, I think even till now uh, the online application for visa qatar visa is still on hold uh, you need to apply manually yeah, i think so so for people who came to qatar during the world cup with a higher card i think it's a good news for you because uh the moi i think this morning around 11 a.m yeah, a friend of mine sent me the link saying that um the ministry of interior i mean the moi has uh, decided to extend the the stay of um, higher card holders that is if you if you're a higher card holder and uh, you've been to qatar before or okay so hold on Yes, so if you're, a higher, if you're a higher card holder and you've been to Qatar before, either uh, you are a fan or you are an organizer or whatsoever. I know most of the volunteers who came to Qatar during the World Cup, most of them wanted to stay. But, you know, they, they just couldn't stay for much longer. So they had to exit. And uh, most of them also want to come now. So now the thing is that uh, the Ministry of Interior has now announced the extension of a, um, the extension of a validity of the higher card holder. So if you're a higher card holder you can come back to qatar here and i think the requirements are pretty much the same as the um old old procedure like if you have after after getting your higher card what are the next procedures to go through to come to qatar so i'm just going to run you through quick it's not anything difficult i think they're pretty much the same so the 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 the, the necessities things you need to have before you can enter into qatar so now this time around is is for um for a whole year so if you have a higher card you can come back to qatar and stay for for a year i think you not a year i mean it's valid until 24th uh, uh 23rd of january 2020 2024 yeah so if you have a higher card you can enter into qatar <coughs> on a multi, excuse me on a multiple entry so you can come and go and this is free of charge you don't need to pay for anything but then there are some other um things attached to it so let's get into it so now based on this extension all higher card um holders visiting qatar will have access access to the following uh, okay so now be before even talking about the benefit that comes with it let's talk about uh the conditions uh, one need to meet before they can be able to still travel with their higher card so now you will have to your passport has to be valid for at least three months you remember back then it has to be valid for six months right i think this is from everywhere if you want to travel your passport has to be valid to its expiry date right so let's say you are traveling um today or you are traveling this month your passport has to be valid for the next six months without expiring but this time around in qatar it's just <coughs> corona <coughs> it's just three months so if you have a passport which is valid for three months you can just come to qatar that is the first uh, requirement second you have to book uh, a ticket two-way ticket right so in and then out ticket so just like just like i said it's pretty much the same as the old procedure right so getting your your ticket making sure your passport is valid for three months and also booking an accommodation but now this time around the accommodation not necessarily uh okay now the accommodation could be a family member or a friend or you can book um yourself but if you are booking through or if you are coming through you know during the world cup people came in like visitors right so if you want someone if you want to come live with someone then they'll have to go through the same procedure again they'll have to hop onto the um higher card website you know the higher card website and then invite you through their higher card application platform you know that is how they're supposed to do it they can either do it on their mobile phones or on their pcs or whatsoever so these are the requirements book a, uh, a return ticket like in and out ticket uh, your passport has to be valid for three days i'm sorry three months and also uh an accommodation yes yeah, so that is that is just all and also one more thing that they've added is to get uh health insurance is it health insurance 
yes 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 so obtaining health insurance during the period of stay in the country and a return ticket yes so you <coughs> just a moment mm. yeah sorry about that i don't know why this keeps happening to me whenever i decide to film or do a video yeah so these are the requirements that i've mentioned um a passport uh, health insurance a return ticket and also um, a booked hotel or either you are going to stay with a friend or whatsoever these things has to be ready you need to get ready with all these things these things need to be ready before you even plan to you know take a step further so now let's talk about some of the benefits so i have this um friend from india and another one also from bangladesh they were like uh, back then with the hire card one of the benefits that it came with was um to use the to access the bus and the metro for free but now i think the bus we have free buses right so free buses from the their designated picking point to the metro station so the metro station you only need to swipe your card and pay i think two reals per ride that is all <clears throat> so this one was questioning me like why is it that this time around you cannot use your has your hire card to you know access the metro i'm like go and ask the ministry of interior don't ask me you know <laughs> so these are some of the benefit that comes with it uh you will have you have um the hire with me feature so this hire with me feature helps you or allows you to bring three more people with you three more people uh three more family members or friends who don't have hire card so let's say you are coming let's say let's say i'm from ghana okay let's say i'm coming to qatar uh, with my hire card and i don't have uh oh i mean i'm coming to qatar with my hire card and i have three other relatives or three other friends who don't have hire card they can still register under my hire card and i and i can come with them so they also need to follow the procedure they need to book a two-way ticket right so in and out their passport needs to be valid for at least three months and um <coughs> the health the health insurance as well so the health insurance uh is going to be effective from first of um february and i'm shooting this video on the 30th of december um 3 39 pm qatar time so yeah from the first of february each and everyone traveling into qatar whether by sea as far as you are crossing border into qatar by sea by land by air you will definitely have to have um a health insurance um, policy or a premium you know to have and i'm going to make a separate video for that so don't worry if you are getting confused after this video i'll definitely do or make a video um for the um, insurance policy and all of that so yeah these are these are the requirements uh, no i mean these are some of the benefits right so um just like i said with um with me plus three right so you can come and into qatar and then bring three more people and also um it has a multiple entry into qatar so just like i said this is one of the benefits multiple entry go and come back at any time whenever you want until 24th of january it's all up to you so but 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 one more thing not to forget higher card is not a work a working permit or it's not a work permit or it's not a residence visa so the fact that you are in qatar working with the higher i mean the fact that you are in qatar with the higher card doesn't mean you can go around working with it if you're not found good for you but you know if the police gets hold of you come on they are helping you or they are allowing you to come into their country to explore more and you know so if you want to work in qatar use the proper channel apply through a company or get a freelance visa come look for a job yeah so i think uh the e-gate system for entry uh via states Port. okay so i think yeah this is this is these are the, the the benefits so you can come with three more people and also it has multiple entry and it's free of charge so you don't have to oh. pay anything yeah so that will be the end of today's video if you like this video kindly make sure to um let me know by liking and subscribing if you've not already subscribed and let's get conversative either on um instagram facebook uh, my handles are all the same alex sterling yeah so you can follow me on all social media platforms. Let's get conversative. And I love you all. Stay safe.